Hello everyone. I just stopped by to talk briefly about the more and to congratulate him of his wedding anniversary to his wife. 49 years is not a joke. So this man you are seeing here is a songwriter, is a producer, is a music director, and his genre of music is gospel, worship music in particular. I deliberately ask if there are some people that don't know him because I grew up knowing him in my household. I just grew up and we used to play his songs. Most of his songs are Bible inspired. There are some of his songs that when you are singing them, it's just like you are reading the Bible. He's a father, he's a grandfather, and he has really done well for himself. He has sung in almost every continent of the world. He has been to my own beloved country, Nigeria, severally, and he has played in one of the largest worship concert which is the experience the experience is usually held annually and the more has ministered there several times so i woke up today and i saw him posted something on his twitter he has been married for 49 years do you guys hear me for 49 years 49 years is a big deal and we will generally not see news like this flying around, except for the little or few people that follow him. As in this time and age where young guys cannot stay with one woman, where guys that are 40 are giving you every reason why, why they want to be with two women, why they want to be polygamous and all that. This is a man who has been with one woman for 49 years. So he took to his Twitter this morning to write. He said... 49 years ago, I married this girl after a concert in Minneapolis. We welcome everyone in the audience to stay for the wedding. It started at 10 p.m. and we had approximately 1,000 people we didn't know at our wedding reception, at our wedding ceremony. What an adventure. If you're going through a storm I'm a today, very remember, blessed man. God is so good. Jesus. In Matthew chapter He's saying, 14, I'm Jesus a very blessed man. God is so good. Peter, of course, said, Jesus, if it's 49 you, years of Jesus God's said, faithfulness in me. marriage. Come. So Daddy, Domon, I want to say congratulations to, to, to you on the occasion of this, your wedding anniversary to your beloved wife. I celebrate God's grace out, upon your life, upon your and marriage, Jesus and I pray that the Lord will keep said, you stronger oh, like never before, even as you continue so as you this journey. Your day today, because in this time and age, and what we are seeing is not encouraging marriages. And my prayer is that God will keep my faith. marriage, God will keep our marriages. This is to the men out there. You can actually stay with one woman for 49 years, for 50 years and beyond. Let's stop promoting the narrative of men are polygamous in nature. The truth is, it's only God that can even keep a man. And it's only God that can keep a woman. So, I hope this bless you. I would like, to, I would like you to listen to one of his messages. You can go follow the man on IG. On IG, is very active. And um, you can follow him. Your life will not be the same. You can check out his song as well on YouTube, on all musical platform. You'll be blessed you did. So let's listen to this one minute message together and I'll come back to round up the video. If you're going through a storm today, remember it's important to keep your eyes on Jesus. In Matthew chapter 14, Jesus came walking on the water to his disciples in the night. And Peter, of course, said, Jesus, if it's you, ask me to come. And Jesus said, it's me, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind and the waves, he was afraid and began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and, and said, O ye of little faith, why did you doubt? So as you go through your day today, 
Try not to focus on the wind and the waves and all these other distractions. Keep your eyes on Jesus and have faith. Wow, that is what so short but profound. Keep your eyes on Jesus and have faith. No need of murmuring, no need of complaining. Shun the distractions because distractions will always be there. As an individual, as a married person, distraction will always be there. But let's focus on Jesus so long we are on this side of this world. After what the Bible says, in this world we will face tribulation. But we should be of good cheers because God has overcome the world for us, even our faith. So all we just need to do is to activate our faith. Thank you so much if you have watched this extent. Please like the video, share it out, and say a word of prayer for Papa Domwe. That God will continue to keep him, his ministry, and his marriage video. in Jesus' Bye -bye. name. See you in my next video.